Hey, hey, this is your girl Dre, and you're in Dre's space today. You on the couch with Dre. <laughs> Should this be my on the couch? No, I'm not gonna start another series. I got too much going on in this channel as it is. We're talking about overthinking, like I do overthinking this YouTube channel. But anyway, we're not talking about that. We're talking about overthinking in general, how this can destroy you mentally and physically. We wanna get right on into how to stop overthinking and I'm gonna give you three ways and how in order to actually get over yourself no I'm just saying no, I ain't gonna say that but like get over overthinking because this is something I tend to do I it's a problem so let's talk about it you in order to kind of keep you all on track of not overthinking because I had thought about this and I was like I need to talk about that because this to me is a lot of therapy for myself but sometimes hearing me speak it out helps me and then in turn it helps other people people said they appreciate it um you know hearing me I promise okay uh <laughs> talk about certain things that they was just like I was just thinking about that or I was just going through this and I was like for real look at God because I'm like talking really for myself but like nothing wrong with sharing so okay let's get into these three things it is to catch yourself catch yourself when you start having thoughts that are consuming your time at this time everybody know we ain't got a lot of time. So, I mean, you know, not to waste. So, if we're thinking about, thinking about things that are that's catching us off guard and keeping us down, you know, that anxiety road, child. Let me tell you, that, the anxiety road ain't no joke, okay? So, I I'll be trying to keep myself from going there in any kind of way that I possibly can. You know what I'm saying? So, um, things, what you have to do is basically kind of store it. Um, catching yourself before you go too far with it and once you learn a habit make that a habit of catching yourself and then you won't be so consumed you kind of get ahead of it you know what i'm saying and it's not easy to do i'm sorry i live by a fire station y'all so you might hear a siren or two but anyway just trying to keep yourself from going down this whole path of something that probably ain't happened or maybe you probably is overdoing it about something that you know you overanalyzing and you just have to be like wait oh hold on i don't know all that i don't even know i'm tripping it's okay to be like i'm tripping me okay so you just have to basically um find yourself when you start to wonder and it's not like a wandering thought it's like you overdoing something that hasn't happened or you're overdoing something that happened and you think it's down a certain path that you don't have any you don't even know if that's going to happen you don't even know what's going on at this point so why are you getting so worked up that's the last thing you want to do is get worked up so let's try to avoid that before it happens try to find ways of Trying to find ways. I'm sorry, I'm distracted. Uh, trying to find ways of actually getting ahead of the game, and there's nothing wrong with getting ahead of the game, and just uh, try not to get caught up in this a projected reality. You're projecting things. It hasn't even happened or has happened. And you come up with something in your brain. And it's like, girl, what's up? Ain't nobody asked you to be doing all that because it's not even that big of a deal. But it becomes a bigger deal so you know I'm not saying you can't think about future things or think about the past or reflect it's the difference between reflecting healthily like help in a helpful way and overthinking which can be kind of like a bad thing like it can be negative it can take you to stress out or going to anxiety and it can affect your body and then it goes into your physical um, health and before you know it you're just doing too much folks having strokes and falling out and it's, it's too much going on for you to bring it on yourself there's enough things in life that can come at you 
let's not bring stuff to us you know what i'm saying let's like not do that second thing second thing is analyzing your thoughts and it's kind of like wait a minute now you're telling me to over you're analyzing but you don't want me to over analyze it you don't want me to overthink but you want me to analyze my thoughts yeah and just try to most of the time when you have these you overthinking when you're overthinking is it news usually positive or negative most of the time, you if you're if you're overthinking, it's probably a negative thought, and it's probably negative down a negative path. And we tell them, try not to go down these negative paths. Now let's go back this way, okay? So um, you almost have to just try to um, it's things that can just distort your thinking, and you have to just be able to be rational and logical about certain thoughts, and not. Usually when you overthink, you make things irrational or illogical, and that creates like a suffering to yourself in your insides, you know, like just with your mental, you know. And so some things you may have to do is just like put things in a black and white type of thinking, like this can happen or this can happen. Don't do all the in-betweens, okay? When you're analyzing your thoughts, just think of it in a black and white type of situation, just so you won't have these little variables in between to get you off on that overthinking path. You don't want that. Um, stop jumping to conclusions about situations that may happen. Somebody says something, somebody, is that person thinking this or do he think that? Does she think that about me? Like, wait a minute, I don't want that person to think that because I didn't do that. But then, and then you're done. You're done. You're down the overthinking path. We don't want that. Come back. Let's come back. Let's come back. Making things about you personally. Personalization. Some things ain't about you. Like things go wrong. Things happen. It is really sometimes really not about you. Um, making things bigger and more dreadful and more like horrible within it has to be. Don't do that. Don't do it. And thinking about what you could have, should have, could have, would have. And then you go down that path of, it's just, it's just, it, it could just get too much. Overgeneralizing things. Thinking if it happened one time, it could happen again, and it could happen again, and then this will happen, and then I'll do, and then this, and then what if that can really happen? Like, what happens? Like, what if I walk outside, and then I just really get hit by a car? Like, then, and it's like, every time I walk out, will I get hit by a car? Like, that just gave me stress. I got a little just I got a little bit of a headache. A headache. Not a headache. A headache. A headache. Labeling yourself, I'm stupid, I'm dumb, I'm this, I'm that, I'll never be this, I'll never be that. I'm just gonna go down this whole pathway of being this horrible person. And it's just like, girl, get you some therapy, like talk that out. Un un <laughs> You will have to unpack that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to stay away from that, you know. And just being like, thinking about what the, what can happen. Like, the worst things can happen and they ain't happen yet. You know, it's just like, sometimes I understand why these things can happen and why they would be part of your, like, thought process. But like I said before, catching yourself will help you analyze some of these thoughts. And and get these things like I'm not no trained therapist I'm just I'll be doing research and I'll be trying to help everybody <laughs> I'm doing this for me but I want to share with you guys we can be on a journey together you know what I'm saying can we be on a journey together so like this is stuff that I'll be like trying to go past and really trying to put manifestation out there of positive energy and you can't be having positive energy if you're overthinking things all the time it's not cute. It's not good for anybody around you. And you just, it just, it just eats you alive. So let's not do that. Third thing, last thing, let it all out. You know, once you caught yourself, once you've analyzed some things, then it's time to let it go now. And a lot of times letting it go can just be easy as writing it down writing it down could be as easy as keeping a journal within yourself 
like with the phone or you have a, a physical writing or you actually write it down on paper journaling really helps with the process of um, these intrusive thoughts that comes through in your brain actually writing that down after you analyze, analyze a lot of things and just have all these emotions sadness anger fear stress write that out put the negative thoughts out there on that paper and after you leave it there leave it there and think positive try to push past those thoughts i have a video about negative thoughts so i'm gonna put it up here somewhere for you guys so it's okay to feel sometimes overwhelmed it's okay to do this and that but you know you just have to be able to find the best solution to deal with things that's going on with your life and your thoughts and your feelings and it's a lot going on it's kind of a rough time to live right now um with everything that's going on around the world and right in right in, in your backyard you know it's a lot going on just, just learning how to deal with these deep thoughts and these deep feelings i think journaling is a great thing to do um i make positive you know i have take down notes and you know i write down some things and you know just to get it out at that moment and it really helps to just get it out and um and it helps me you know so i think it'll help you i think we're gonna be fine i think it's gonna work out for the best i think we're gonna be okay but sometimes if you deal with anxiety like i do it's so much anxiety some people don't even know they have anxiety but i'm here to help you i'm here to say it happens to the best of us and we just have to push through and just try to avoid um overthinking things because it's not in the in the, in the end it's not worthy it and you just feel miserable and you'll just be caught inside your head and have to go take a xanax ain't nothing wrong ain't nothing wrong with but i'm just saying don't want to be dependent on a lot of stuff but we have to find ways to deal with anxiety have to find ways of trying to push through um when it's needed and it's needed right now some of us have to go on because we're really important. Most of us, we all of us are important. We have a purpose in life. And our purpose needs to be fulfilled. And you can't fulfill it if you're not in the right headspace. So, I'm here for you. We're here for each other. Drop down below if you have ways of, if you find yourself overthinking, how you overcome. If that's something you deal with, let me know. Let me know. But anyway, this ain't Aaliyah. Um... And uh, thank you for coming back to my space on the couch, honey, on the couch, honey, on the couch. But anyway, I'm just overdoing it and I'm rambling. But just thank you for stopping in. I appreciate each and every one of you. Mwah, 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 mwah. Okay. And uh, y'all have a great one. Catch me on IG. Ain't nothing changed. It's still Jerry's space and Twitter. It's Jerry's space as well. All my social medias are the same. It's, 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 it's everything's the same. So. Um, thank you for tuning in with me this lovely evening and I hope y'all have a great day and I look forward to seeing you again. Peace. Yeah. Mm. Tap, tap.